the Hong Kong-based Chinese startup Roborn has garnered attention with its advanced developments in the field of humanoid robots equipped with 5G. Founded by Mark Mack, the company focuses on creating innovative solutions that can significantly contribute to various sectors, from healthcare to industry. Roborn has developed a range of unique robots utilizing cutting-edge technologies to perform complex tasks. Their robots are equipped with sensors and machine learning algorithms that enable them to adapt to different conditions and execute intricate tasks with high precision. These robots can be used for various functions, including remote control, health monitoring, and even performing surgeries. One of the key features of Roborn's robots is the use of 5G technology. With its high data transfer speeds and low latency, 5G allows the robots to receive and process information in real time significantly enhancing their efficiency and accuracy. This is particularly crucial in medical applications, where precision and quick response times can be critically important. Furthermore, Roborn is actively working on improving human-robot interaction. Their humanoid robots can recognize and interpret gestures, facial expressions, and voice commands, making their use intuitive and user-friendly. Boston Dynamics demonstrated the testing of the hydraulic version of their robot Atlas. The compilation includes both old footage, such as scenes where Atlas dances with a suspension strut in hand, and new scenes. In all scenes, Atlas independently grabs, lifts, carries, and places objects of various shapes, sizes, and weights. Among them, you can see a kettlebell, an air compressor, a car muffler, and a wooden stool. For larger objects like the muffler or an item resembling a car wheel, Atlas uses both hands, while smaller items like the kettlebell are easily handled with one hand. Boston Dynamics has been developing the experimental humanoid robot Atlas with hydraulic actuators for over 10 years. However, in April 2024, the company announced that the hydraulic version of the robot would be replaced by a new project, the second generation of Atlas, which will be powered by electric motors. According to the company, the electric Atlas will be stronger, more agile, and more maneuverable than the hydraulic version, with a range of movements broader than that of humans. Scientists have created the first foot prosthesis that mimics the movements of bones. While prosthetic legs have already restored the ability to walk for many people, the vast majority of them are completely rigid. Scientists from Italy have been working on a prosthesis that can adapt to uneven surfaces, similar to how natural walking occurs on forest paths, pebbles, and uneven slopes. As a result, they have created a functional foot prosthesis that has been successfully tested on patients. The prosthesis weighs 450 grams and can withstand a load of up to 100 kilograms. Softfoot Pro consists of five parallel chains connected to each other with an attachment to a titanium heel. The front segments of each chain mimic the movement of the toe phalanges, while the rear segments mimic the metatarsal bones. The creators see great potential for the Softfoot Pro in patient applications. The prosthesis is comfortable, water-resistant, and adapted for use on various natural surfaces. By 2040, one-third of the U.S. Army will consist of robotic machines. The share of autonomous equipment and tools controlled by artificial intelligence in the military sector will significantly increase. According to U.S. Army General Mark Milley, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, fundamental shifts are expected in the armed forces of various countries over the next 15 years. The number of human soldiers will decrease in favor of robotic machines. The armed forces of global powers are competing in advanced robotic technologies, developing drones, sniper robodogs, self-propelled units and other equipment suitable for combat, reconnaissance, evacuation of the wounded, transportation and other important military operations. Joint exercises involving soldiers and robots are being conducted. The rapid implementation of lethal combat equipment with instant decision-making capabilities raises concerns about the emergence of the notorious robotic killers. In response to these concerns, the military typically promises to keep humans in the decision-making loop, 
ensuring that a person is responsible for making the final decision. General Milley also used this argument, emphasizing that this issue will become more acute in the next decade, and people will have to find a way to address it. The country that optimizes these technologies for military use will gain a significant, possibly even decisive advantage in armed conflicts. Baxter is a revolutionary industrial robot developed by the American company Rethink Robotics. It is designed to collaborate with humans on production lines and in other industrial environments. One of Baxter's key features is its ability to safely interact with people without the need for protective barriers. Baxter is equipped with two arms, each with seven degrees of freedom, providing it with high flexibility and precision in performing tasks. It can carry out various manufacturing operations, such as assembly, packaging, testing and material handling. Integrated cameras and sensors enable Baxter to perform precise and repeatable operations, automatically adapting to changes in its environment. In addition to its primary industrial tasks, Baxter can also perform more unconventional tasks. For example, it is capable of making coffee, demonstrating its versatility and potential for use in various aspects of life. The British company Engineered Arts has created the robotic platform Sosibot Mini, which has potential applications in public spaces, self-service kiosks, information centers, and more. Sosibot Mini features a torso with an electronic head mounted on a mechanized neck. The robot is equipped with an internal computer, a high-quality camera capable of measuring the distance to objects in its field of view, a microphone, and an audio system. Additionally, the robot partially understands voice commands and can respond with a synthesized voice. The developers employed an interesting approach to the design of Sosibot Mini's head. The face is made of transparent plastic with contours for the eyes, nose, lips, chin, etc. The desired image is projected onto this mask using an integrated projector. This system allows the robot to display any face from its database and instantly switch between male and female appearances, different ethnicities, age groups, and more. Recently at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Japanese companies NS Solutions and NTT Docomo unveiled a humanoid assistant robot with 5G. This innovative robot demonstrated the capabilities of 5G technology, including ultra-low latency communication, which enables it to accurately replicate the operator's movements in real time. Thanks to this technology, the robot can perform complex tasks remotely with a high degree of precision and synchronization. During the demonstration at MWC, the robot performed Japanese calligraphy, showcasing how 5G can provide precise and timely remote control. The robot uses advanced technologies to ensure reliable and stable communication, allowing it to respond promptly to the operator's commands. This achievement is part of NTT Docomo's broader initiative to deploy and commercialize 5G technology, which is expected to revolutionize many aspects of our lives and work. Write in the comments what you think about 5G humanoid robots. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Goodbye.